One of the most important things you can do at the beginning of your cybersecurity career is landing a cybersecurity internship. Getting an internship can lead to so many opportunities and most of the time it leads to a full-time job after. And even if it doesn't, it adds valuable experience to your resume. However, getting a cybersecurity internship is not easy because of how competitive the current market is. But don't worry guys, I was in the exact same position as you are now just a few years ago. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly how I I landed my first cybersecurity internship while in college, which eventually led to where I am today working full time in cybersecurity. If you are new to the channel, my name is Ben and I make videos like this one every single week. So make sure you guys subscribe and join the family. We're on our way to 100,000 subscribers. Also, if you find this video valuable and insightful, please go ahead and drop me a like. It helps out the channel a lot. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So number one on the list is going to be starting with small and local opportunities. A lot of times people are only aiming for the fan companies or the big tech companies and they're neglecting the ones that are more local to them and the smaller to medium sized businesses. At this point in your career, your main priority should be getting any type of experience, not only just from big tech companies and big name companies. A lot of times these big tech companies and these big name companies are going to have the most amount of applicants to their internship job listings, which in turn is gonna make them the most competitive and also highly saturated. And if you're someone who is just getting their first internship or you're new to college, maybe these specific internships at big name companies aren't really going to be feasible for you right now. So don't be afraid to start your search with small to medium sized businesses around your area. And also don't forget to apply to companies that aren't necessarily in tech, but still require cybersecurity internships. For example, different industries like insurance, healthcare, or finance, all of these types of companies that you wouldn't really think of need cybersecurity and therefore have cybersecurity internships available for you. A summer internship at a smaller to medium sized company can also lead to a lot of valuable experience that you can get under your tool belt. A lot of times at smaller companies, the teams are smaller and you might be required to juggle more than one role. So you might have more responsibilities, more tasks and work with different tools that maybe you wouldn't have experienced if you worked at a big tech company. And on top of that, if you're not able to land a cybersecurity internship from the start, you can always settle for part-time jobs throughout your college career. In my situation, I didn't start applying for cybersecurity internships until my sophomore and junior year. So building up from high school all the way into my freshman year of college, I was always working part-time jobs that would continue to build my resume and make me more marketable when it was time to apply for cybersecurity internships. So in my case, I was a technical specialist at Apple where I pretty much did troubleshooting and consulting. And from there, I added those skills to my resume, which eventually helped me land my first cybersecurity internship. Part-time jobs like IT help desk or retail jobs that involve technology like Geek Squad as well. Those are some really valuable roles that you can add to your resume that you shouldn't overlook, especially at the beginning of your career. Number two on the list is making sure that you apply early and consistently. Like I said before, I didn't start applying to internships until my sophomore and junior year. But if I started applying to internships my freshman year, I could have even had more opportunities opportunities that I'm not even aware of. There's a common myth that goes around that you shouldn't start applying to internships unless you're a sophomore or junior in college, but a lot of times you're able to apply for these internships even as a freshman, so don't let that stop you. If you're someone who's not even in college, internships are still a realistic option for you. So applying early and consistently is so important, especially at the beginning of your career, because you can start building out your resume, eventually building towards landing a cybersecurity internship and a full-time job later down the line once you graduate. Number three on the list is utilizing personal connections and referrals. When you're at the beginning of your career, you don't have a lot of certifications and work experience to pull from. So it's gonna be difficult to land your first internship or cybersecurity job. And that's when connections, your network and referrals really come into play. All companies have different referral processes in place, but for the most part, when it comes to internships and how competitive they are, you're gonna have to find a way to differentiate yourself from everyone else applying to these internships and referrals are going to be a perfect way to do exactly that. Oftentimes companies hold referrals at a higher value than those who are just applying directly externally because of the fact that you have someone who works at the company right now referring you and vouching for your skill set and your capabilities. So make sure you guys reach out to family and friends who work in tech or at certain companies that you would want to work for. Also don't be afraid to cold email and cold message people on LinkedIn as well asking for any opportunities and things of that nature. Number four 
on the list is taking advantage of university resources. A lot of times universities are holding career fairs on their campus, so make sure you guys take advantage of these. Career fairs are pretty much when a lot of companies come onto the campus and search for talent and recruit them in order to work for their company once they graduate or for an internship. This is a perfect opportunity for you to network with recruiters, get your name out there, and pass out your resume. And now to be honest, career fairs can be hit or miss, but at this point in your career, when you're a complete beginner, going to these events are gonna be a great way for you to show your face and get your name out there, and you never know what opportunities might come out of it. Also, while you're in college, make sure you guys are networking with professors and also students, and one of the best ways to do this is by joining clubs. So if you have any sort of cybersecurity club or hacking club or CTF club, make sure you guys are joining those clubs, networking, making connections, building friendships, and having that circle around you is gonna be so valuable for you to continue developing your skills, your interests, and also build friendships and connections that might lead to opportunities later down the line that you might not even know about. Number five on the list is going to be don't be afraid to cold email and put yourself out there. So like I said before, throughout this entire video, the market right now for internships and cybersecurity jobs is extremely competitive. So you need to find a way to be proactive. And this means cold emailing and cold DMing recruiters, managers, bosses that work at these companies that you want to intern for and asking them for any opportunities. On top of that, because of how competitive the market is, you need to find a way to get that spotlight onto you. And one of the best ways to do that is through content creation. An example of content creation could be posting on LinkedIn or starting your own blog or creating a YouTube channel documenting exactly what you've learned throughout your entire journey so far in cybersecurity. This is going to be a great way for you to get your name out there. And if someone like a recruiter or a boss or a higher up at a company sees your content and really likes it, they're more than likely going to reach out to you because they want you working for their company. And when you're DMing and reaching out to these companies for an internship, make sure you guys have an optimized resume ready to go. I just created a video about common cybersecurity resume mistakes that people make. So make sure you guys check out that video as well. I'll link it over here in the corner. With that being said, guys, those are gonna be my five tips when it comes to landing your first cybersecurity internship. And that's pretty much exactly how I was able to land my internship when I was in college. Internships are really a life hack when it comes to finding a full-time job. These are going to be the building blocks of your resume, of your experiences, and having them is going to be so, so important to start off your career on a good note. With that said, guys, if you guys found this video valuable, go ahead and drop me a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're on our way to 100,000 subscribers. And also, if you want some more short form content, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cyber with Ben. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.